everyone! What's up? I'm literally like, I just stopped. I've been running around all day. So I'm like checking my little checklist to make sure I, you know, did everything. Because um, there are a lot of like last minute little things that I needed to do, you know, for this evening because I love, love, love to make sure I'm prepared, but I'm no Martha Stewart. Um, I don't have like a full staff or anything, you know, behind the scenes, making sure everything's, you know, set up. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'm ready. Anyways, hey y'all, it's Monday, October 9th. I should have had a look. It's my husband's birthday. It's Philip's birthday, so yay. Happy birthday, Philip. Um, this weekend, we, um, didn't do a ton. All day Saturday, we ran a ton of errands and everything. And, um... Yesterday we went to the bar to watch the Seahawks game because um, if it's not on TV, we gotta go watch it somewhere. And Philip joined this Montana Seahawkers group or whatever that um, they all kind of congregate at this one bar and they do like little giveaways and all that kind of stuff. And the bar does, you know, a bunch of specials and stuff. And I told him that as um, Long as I can have as much nachos and booze as I'm allowed, then um, I will go and support his team. So, yay. They won. So, um, happy Philip. Anyway, um, <laughs> I have a random question to ask because Philip and I have been um, not really debating it. He thought I was silly for even... Um, wanting to do it or whatever. My birthday is in November and it falls on a Sunday, so of course the next day is Monday. And I had the little fun idea to throw myself a, you know, online birthday party because I'm in Montana. I don't know anyone here. And my birthday is my favorite holiday of the year. So I said I was gonna throw myself a birthday party. An online birthday party. He said that I couldn't do that. That was kind of tacky. That somebody else needed to do it for me. Well, this whole video thing is, you know, kind of one-sided. Of course, you know, y'all can comment and I can respond, but really, I mean, that's about it. So anyways, I have a couple ideas going for um, the Monday after my birthday. Um, but I did want to get your all's opinion. Do you think it's kind of tacky that I throw my own birthday party? But like I told him, I said, this is my shindig. I can kind of do whatever I want. So um, if that's what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. I'd love your ideas, opinions. If I was gonna throw an online birthday party, what kind of things should I do? Um, I'm thinking about like an Ask Manda type thing where you can, you know, send whatever questions y'all want and I would ask whatever, but, um, I do have a, some other ideas and stuff kind of in my head at the moment. If y'all saw the amount of lists I had going at the moment, you wouldn't even know what was going on. So anyways, yes, my birthday is my favorite holiday of the year, it, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever. My birthday is my favorite holiday. It's all about me. <laughs> Anyways, um, tonight we are making a cotton candy martini. Um, we're doing cotton candy martini because to me, October just screams everything candy with Halloween at the end of the month. So, um, why not do a cotton candy martini? Um, so, this evening, I say the word so a lot. This evening, we're going to make that up, and I have already thrown, I'm, I'm using one of my tall glasses this evening, I already put a chunk of cotton candy in my glass. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be difficult to find cotton candy unless I went to a um, specialty store, but... It was on the shelves at Walmart. And surprisingly, I didn't open it up until today. And all I took out was what was needed for that martini. But I guarantee you, if 
by the end of the night, this will probably be gone. Either in the martini or just me eating it out of the bucket. All right, so you need, of course, cotton candy. You need vodka. You need cranberry juice and pineapple juice. And of course, a shaker with ice. Um, thank you. I don't think it's tacky either, Bethany. And even if um, I wasn't away from family and friends, I mean, whatever. All right, so here we go. Got my cat, cotton candy in my glass. So I'm gonna put that to the side just for a second. You're going to need two parts vodka. What? I am spilling outside of the shaker. You need two parts vodka. You need one part pineapple juice and one part cranberry juice. And I'm going to stick all this stuff to the side because we do not need it in our apple cake later. Give it a good shake. And then, from what I understand, when I pour this on top of the cotton candy, it's just going to kind of, you know, disintegrate or whatever. So let's check this out. Yep. Just like that. I mean, it's not from what I understand. I know that cotton candy, you know, fizzles down when it gets wet. But anyways, that was cherry cotton candy. So cherry, vodka, pineapple, cranberry juice. Let's see. That's quite pleasant. It is very nice. So, of course, you know, if you're doing like a party or something, the whole, you know, showcase of it is having the um, cotton candy in the glass and then pouring it on. So, be mindful of that. That's really good. I probably will eat the cotton candy straight out of the bucket, though. I won't add any more. I won't mix it as a drink anymore because I think the first time I've had cotton candy and... 5, 10, 15 years is there. So I'm just going to sit there and eat it out of the bucket. All right. So tonight we are making a no-bake apple cake. And I came across this recipe a, um, about a month and a half, two months ago. And it looks kind of interesting. So why not? I've told you guys, um, send me your, the pins that you guys see interesting, um, things you want me to try or whatever. This was something I came across that um, looked good. And on all honesty right now, um, with us being in fall, um, apples are kind of a big deal. I posted something yesterday about um, pumpkins versus apples because everything right now is pumpkin spice latte and I don't like pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkin cake, pumpkin bread, none of that. There's some, I mean, I'll sit on carve a pumpkin. I will give you the meat, I will give you the seeds. I just don't like pumpkin. So anyways, apples are my go-to fall thing. So a no-bake apple cake. So I have already taken, the things you need this evening are um, one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, six tablespoons of melted butter, um, eight ounces of cream cheese softened, softened, one half cup sugar, a 21 ounce can of apple pie filling and an eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. That's it. Super simple. All right, so I have already, um, I have a tiny little processor. I um, have already taken graham crackers and crushed them up to, um, one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. Here is my six tablespoons of melted butter that I was rushing to melt right before this started. You're gonna mix that in with your graham cracker crumbs. This is gonna be your crust. 
It's gonna be your crust. I mean, it's a pretty basic, you know, if you're if you've ever baked anything before, which I've told y'all many times before, I am no Martha Stewart. This is the basic, you know, crust making skills. I am throwing crumbs all over the place because that is what I do. Anyways, six tablespoons of butter mixed with your graham cracker crumbs. You're going to take your um, like nine by nine pan first. Um, you do want to reserve a little bit of your crumbs. That'll be your topping later. So you want to make your graham cracker crust. And of course you just pump, pour that in there. You know, push it down, even it out. This is your crust. Of course, I'm sure you could add other things to it if you wanted. And my hands feel gross. I don't like my hands to get messy. I mean, I will get messy. It's, it's not like it's a phobia or anything. But um, anyway, so yeah. Considering I have other things to do, I, yeah. All right, so there is your graham cracker crust. And then you're gonna put that to the side. Next, you are going to take your eight ounces of, yeah, cream cheese that is softened softened, and one half cup of sugar. One half cup of sugar. This is not a low fat recipe. I do try and stick to somewhat healthy if I can, but um, you gotta indulge sometimes. And you mix it up. Alright, give it a good mix. And then you are going to lick the batters. Yep, like that. And you are going to take your eight ounces of Cool Whip. Make sure I'm doing things right. I read earlier. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep. Whole tub of Cool Whip. Drop it in there. And mix it up really well. Fold it in, whatever it is. See people logging on. Say hey, introduce yourself. Let me know who is stalking me. All right. Once you have given that good mix, you are going to take half of the mixture that you have, and yes, spread half of it into. the pan. Spread it in there and that my crust is coming up some. It's okay though. Yeah. Quite a bit. Okay, like I said, this is a pin I I found. This is not my recipe. <laughs> so, um if it fails, it fails. And see, there's a great big hole in the bottom. There, that was my crust. So, um, yeah. So far, um, it looks good, but Pinterest is um, failing me right now. All right, so I'm gonna let that be. Because in all honesty, it's probably still gonna taste good in the end. I can do this since it's just me and my husband eating this. I don't ever have any guests, so it's not like I'm expected to um, have stuff ready when people come over. <laughs> anyway, um, so then you leave that be 
hopefully without a hole in the bottom of the pan. And then um, if you buy a can of 21 ounce apple pie filling, um, the recipe said to take a knife and just, you know, go inside and chop up the apples into smaller pieces. I did that earlier that way so um, it wouldn't take as much time here. So um, then basically you just dump that into your pan. Of course, if you have real apples, I'm pretty sure that you could make an apple pie filling that tastes 10 times better than something that could be bought in stores. The same thing with the um, cream cheese, sugar, and Cool Whip. You could make your own um, whipped filling of some kind and it would taste a whole lot better. But I am not one of those people. I like to have buy most things I can, you know, pre-made. Okay, right, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> apple pie filling across the top there, and then you are going to take the last half of your. Um, cream cheese and sugar and Cool Whip mixture that we made. And put it on top. And spread it out evenly. And, and then for the most part you're done. We are going to take we're going to make sure this is all spread out in a second. And the thing is with this being no bake, it doesn't matter if it looks good or not. You know it's probably going to taste good. Alright, so there you go. For the most part that's done. Then you're going to take the um, crumbs that you saved and sprinkle them across the top and throw them all over your counter because that's what I do. <laughs> and then that's it, literally, that's it. Then um, it wants you to stick it in the refrigerator for a couple hours or um, overnight, of course, is best just to let it set. But that's it. No bake apple cake dessert. Just like that. So I'm gonna stick that in the fridge in just a bit and um, let it um, you know settle and everything. But um super simple, quick, easy. I mean it's 549. We've been on for 19 minutes. And 10 minutes of that I talked. So you're looking at like a 10 minute dessert. Um, wonder if you keep a refrigerated crust, if it would keep from falling apart when you, I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty sure that you could probably buy a um, crust and not have to worry about that. I would probably do that next time. Um, to me, it's not that big a deal. Like I said, since it's no bake and I'm not concerned about anything necessarily baking thoroughly, um, it's not that big of a deal. But, um, cause it's all going to the same place, you know. <laughs> but, um, it looks good. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge in a bit and um, we will try it tomorrow, probably, because I'm, it's a six o'clock in a couple hours. I'm not gonna wanna eat because I'm gonna get, wanna go to bed. So, um, I'll probably try it tomorrow. So, um, but it looks like a good pin, Pinterest, whatever. And, um, we'll see how that is tomorrow. I'll let y'all know, of course. But, um, okay, with all that being said, that's pretty much it for the evening. Um, next week, 
Um, I think, yeah, next week. Can't remember. Yeah, I've scheduled a bunch of posts. I've got a bunch of posts I want to add for the month. But um, next Monday night, we are doing a ghost teeny. We're doing a ghost themed night. And um, we're going to make this cool hanging ghost. And the funny story behind it is, is I found this pin on Pinterest. And um, I actually made it. And while I was waiting for it to dry, I had two other people send me a link to this exact same pen or idea. Saying that, ooh, this looks like something cool that you, you should do. And then it was the next day when someone else sent me another link doing this. So um, next Monday night, <laughs> We are making this really cool hanging ghost that is, I mean, beyond easy to make. It looks like it's a whole lot more difficult, but it is so super simple to make. Um, it's a bit messy, but messy things tend to be better. Um, Riley, what are you doing? The dog, for some reason, if I'm cooking, he's like, hey. It's just to me. So, um, anyway, so next Monday we're doing this really cool hanging note, um, hanging ghost. And then, um, we're going to make a ghost teeny. I came across the recipe and I was like, hmm, let's make it a theme tonight. So a ghost teeny. And then the next week, I'm not sure what the martini is, but I think I'm doing a bunch of super quick last minute Halloween costumes. There have been many, many, many times that I have um, been in the position where I have had to dress up quickly and needed something at the last minute and couldn't think of anything. I have got six, seven, eight of them that I'm going to do. I'm going to cram like in like 10 minutes. It's probably going to be super ridiculous and crazy, but it is what it is. Um, and then the last week is the night before Halloween. And I'm actually going to show you guys what to do with last or, um, with leftover Halloween candy. Even though it's the night before Halloween, I'm sure you've already got candy stockpiled in your house. So, um, ideas and what you can do with that leftover Halloween candy. Or you could just eat it. But, I needed something to do that night. So, that's what I planned. So, anyway, that's it for the night. Thank y'all for watching and joining me. I will see y'all next Monday. Enjoy your evening. Bye.